So I did some more testing today and I just want to bring some of it to you. Some of the things that I'm doing in here, you'll see I'm going to start tapping the center plate. Uh, and what I'm trying to do there is change the octave in it. So the sound itself for the harmonics has to be in a different form when you go to do this. The clicking annoying sound you're hearing is my piezo buzzer. I installed it upside down. So the actual center of the piezo goes down instead of it going up to the roof of the uh, device here. So that's what you're hearing the clicking sound all the time. And my piezo buzzer going off. It's one of the first times I hooked it into my gravity flyer right here in the testing so that you guys can see it. It's quite annoying. I didn't figure it out to the very end. And you can see in this testing, the actual amount of vibration changes how much it's clicking. I guess in a way it's a good thing that I did it this way. So now you can evaluate it for what it is. So again, we're trying to change the octave of the harmonics when I tap the plate. And you'll see it changes the actual uh, vibration. Also the clicking sound changes in this whole thing. And then I use the uh, dryer sheet as well to try to see uh, if I can't change the charge. So kind of a lot to kind of look at in here. And each one individually in another area would have to be broken down. But it's just so you guys can see some different things in this. And then kind of tell me what you're thinking on it. Just picked up a lot of energy as soon as I tapped that thing. Let me back down a little bit. Now right now I do not have my uh, tester coil connected. I'm just getting it started. But I wanted to see if I couldn't affect the octave by hitting the center disc. And see if it won't produce a little more energy for me. Now right there, it just calmed this thing a little bit. There we go, vibrational state just picked up. Oh, it's definitely having an effect. Calmed it right back down. Right back up. Okay, we're having a connection there. That's good. Kind of hoping for a, directly to see it. We're going to go ahead and set our light bulb here. Just so we can see some kind of a change. There you go. You should be able to see that. Again, the high voltage only is on. Not getting really much out of it. I think we're in a good state right now. Let's go ahead and get this Tesla coil on.
Okay, the test of coil is now up and running. Let's see. We're getting a feel. We're getting our computer to go off. We haven't built it up enough. My light is not coming on down here. We're not, I don't think we're getting any spark over, no. Now, just so you know, I do not have the brushes connected directly to the disc. They're sitting off of it by a little bit. Probably about two millimeters is what they're sitting off of it by. So any spark comes because it's jumping that gap. So, try to move that just a hair up. We're right on the edge. My test of coil right now is running at uh, 40. 40 volts that is. Our field is kind of poo. It's not very good at all. <coughs> Definitely have charge filled up and then it goes away. Let's see if we can get it back. There it goes, it went a higher vibration. My energy for my testicle is down. You get the interaction right there. My test of coil field sucks. Now I do have my ultrasound connected in today. I have four volts going into it. I'm getting some clicking sound. I don't know what that's all about. It just went away. All right. Let's see if this thing's gonna get, get anywhere today. Clicking sound stop. Field's coming back on this. Field's definitely here in between. Much brighter, less bright. There's that clicking sound again. There's something interacting in here and I don't know what the hell is causing that. <laughs> USB device not recognized. Definitely throwing that field, but the field strength is not great yet. There we go. A little more vibration. You can see the light bulb under it not turning on. The field strength really sucks. This is definitely going throughout the craft now. Except for the bottom part. There it is. There it picked it up. Okay, I'm getting the clicking sound. I got a weak, weak feel on the bottom.
definitely have our static cling in here. Get this thing vibrate a little more. I'm getting the heat on the edges. Okay, we're adjusting the high voltage down. Go a bit more. See if it'll fix it. Still have a positive charge on it. Okay. Look at that bounce back. Oh, let's bring this in a little closer.
you know, every time I do that, it's slowing down my upper disc. And yeah, I could just be the cloth slowing it down. But it's also changing the charge. So let's get it up there again. We'll just do it slightly. It's dropping that charge off the top and it's throwing the EMI everywhere. My computer actually hates this. Look at that, the vibration itself is slowing down. It's affecting the entire thing somehow. Let me For those of you wondering right here, there's my computer. Okay? It's directly right across. And it's throwing it all that distance. So my Tesla coil is right here. We're on this side. That's how far it's throwing it. Not that it's a great picture right there, but I'm just showing you. So let's watch. There you get that vibrational state. It goes right back to it. So what I'm thinking is there's a correlation between when each single plate gets the amount of energy that it's supposed to have then it can throw the EMI a little bit. <clears throat> There's definitely an interplay going on here. And I'm just going to have to figure it out. There's a lot more to it. I'm tuning it this way. I just wanted to let everybody know that I created a Facebook group for people who are into the gravity flyer who want to talk about it. Maybe you got some stories to share. Maybe you got something that's relevant to the project that you want to combine to it. I know you guys send me a lot of emails on this stuff, but you can also share it with the group here on the Facebook. And that way everybody gets to see it and comment it on it and everything else. And as long as we're good to each other, guys, it's all good. We can... Uh, we can all talk about it. There's a lot of smart people on there who evaluate this stuff just like I do, and they'll be able to break everything down. So I'll leave the link in the description for you guys, and thank you for watching. Have a great day.